I'm sure more than half of you that clicked on this video are trembling in excitement to get this, the star drop, um, which I'm sure you know is from Stardew Valley. And since the fan base is slightly more bearable than Dream Stands, I figured I might as well leech off of you guys. But anyways, how do you get this item you may ask? Well, simple. You just fish. Kinda. You fish for what is called Jojo Cola, and since this is considered a junk item, you want to make sure you are also getting items such as tin cans, seaweed, and old shoes. You want to make sure you are getting these because the cola has a 1 in 8 chance of replacing any of these three items. To make sure you are getting these items, you want to make sure that your fishing power is 50 or below. Not above, below. Because junk items, they dis you will no longer receive them once your fishing power is above 50, or at least according to the wiki. But anyways, once you get this item, you'll see that it's a consumable. It's not a pet or a star drop, it's a consumable. So what do you do? You want to head over to your dryad. And I'm not I'm not sure if this is a pre a hard mode exclusive item or if you can get this in pre hard mode. But anyways, you guys can find that out for yourselves. You want to make sure you're holding this item and when talking to her to the dryad, you will see that there is a purify item. This unnatural beverage you hold has a connection to another world. I can try to purify it if you like. Yeah, sure. Go for it. And as you can see, magical portal and you can see Stardew Valley that it's literally right there and a small Jumno pops up. Pretty cute. And there it is. A uh, Jumno will prop, or how do you pronounce it? Junimo. God damn it. A uh, Junimo will, will pop out and give you a star drop. And that's that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much how you get it. It's not really that hard. I'm sure any of you can do it. But yeah, that's about it. See so, ya. Yeah.